This is Vini TV, continuing with the policy of not taking wine too seriously. Don't be alarmed, you are being filmed. And at the moment Ilka is getting pumped for this episode. Sorry to tell you. Yeah, boy! Oh, yes. So if you can put the five and a half kilos down... That's for you, motherfucker! And join me on the couch. Can you please, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so what much. are we drinking today? I have actually no idea. You have the bottles. No, I don't. You don't? No. No wine for you. Oh. Well, I guess we're just hugging here. This is a hugging no. episode. Yeah, just bears. wanted to say that the, we love you. The teddy bears of wine. Keep watching Vini TV. No, 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 I can't stand this. <laughs> Two months. I do have the wine. Yes! In my stash. Stash in your ass? Or stash? It was close. <laughs> well, well. Anyway, so we're starting with the German wine. Because I thought that it would be a slightly lighter wine than this one. So, so this is a match between German and Portugal. Sticks and stone. In German, Stock und Stein. <laughs> Did I pronounce that correctly? You do it perfectly. Thank you, thank you. Your accent, your pronunciation uh, is, is, is impressive. Thank you. This producer is called Peter Jakob Kuhn, which I must admit I'm a, uh, a fan of. Uh, they make some organic Riesling in the Rheingau in Germany. And mm. this is their new label, their kind of funky, fresh, more quaffable, more easygoing wine i guess should be serious wine without the high price tag yeah well typical riesling on the nose let's put <laughs> it he actually he he tastes wine like uh, a formula one uh like did i taste anything no <laughs> did you like uh, it or not i'm relying on your comments okay like you like he said whatever he said that it is a typical riesling on the nose it's not too overpowering it's not like this mosel kind of funkiness to it it's kind of clean riesling feel to it let's taste it it's almost uh, steely on the palate it's so bone dry and mm. uh focused focused but the good thing is that it, it, i mean it's a rheingau riesling so it has some body to it i mean it's mm. it's not the you know, slightly higher alcohol than, let's say, Mosul in general. It's like an iron bar, stick up your ass. <laughs> let's continue. It's like this. <laughs> I give it a thumb up. I give a thumb in your butt. What? Did I, I, did I just it. say that? No, I didn't. I shall do the honor of uh, Please. Okay. fucking up this bottle. So, we're moving to Portugal, to the famous Douro Valley. And we're oh. tackling a white one from Quinta da Gaivosa. So, to you who aren't that well known uh, of Dolo region, this is not a port wine. No, no. It's, okay. a, it's a table one, how do I say it? Yes. All I'm right. A genius. Uh, it, the producer is Alves de Souza, which is quite a famous producer, but apparently the only fucking Quinta in the whole Douro Valley that I haven't visited. So, if you see this at Quinta de Goivosa, I want to visit you. Someday I will, maybe. After this clip, I'm not sure if we will come in anymore. <laughs> You're banned for life. I get this lovely grapefruit character on the nose, minerality. It's kind of light, but at, at, at the same time you sort of get this feeling of power lying underneath the do delicate like, Do you nose. like the feeling of power oh, yes, on the tongue? Okay, it's from Dora Valley, so, which means that the grape variety is called Who the Fuck Knows. Uh, so it's a mixture of all kind of indigenous varieties from, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I honestly don't know what's in it, in, but I guess it's, it's, I don't know. Pick up your pace. I don't know, sorry. Let's taste it. Uh, for me, I, I love the fruit character of this wine, but I have to say that uh, I would look, well maybe especially after this Rheinga Riesling, I would look for more acid, acids on the palate. Okay, it's, it's not a real like, comparison after the uh, Riesling, mm. the high acidity. Whoa! <laughs> Space Invaders! Film that, film that! Those motherfuckers are throwing corks at me. Anyways, uh, I like, like you said, it's, it's very floral, a lot of tropical fruit. It got this Hakuna Matata going on, uh, but it lacks acidity. I mean, Douro Valley, is, it's a hot region to do white it's wines. It's quite, quite difficult to make a really balanced white wine, especially. I have to give this thumbs like this, sorry, uh, I suppose the red ones would be more for my taste. Yeah, I, I, for, for, the, for this I will say like this and to the sticks and stone I will give a thumbs up, it was a really decent wine. Find it if you can and drink Rheingau Riesling. Enjoy Beach. a couple of glasses of wine a day at least and uh, see you next time.